Hello, I'm Vincent. And I'm Andrew. We get to see some great lots here at Sander Fair in Cheshire, and we've just been looking at a four volume British Commonwealth collection, which we rather like. We do, it's full of little gems and some of the best designs of the British Empire mm. from the Victorian to George V era. Now, we're going to have a flap of some of the pages. Uh, that, that's it, and I'm going to pull out a few as I go and uh, we, we can sort of get what we think are some of the nicest stamps all in one place um, and uh, we can we can marvel and, and ogle. Uh, so I'll, I'll go over to the camera, I've already got one of the volumes open underneath and we'll, uh, we'll start turning some pages. Here we go, we're on Falkland Islands, these grand old high values, look at these things. There's the a pound black on red, George V. And then we've got the, the tiddler, the whale and penguin, so called, one pound top view. And then we've got the daddy of all British Empire pictorial sets, the 1933 centenary. I'll pull the pound out of there. Isn't that fabulous? I actually like that Fiji brown and blue, it's quite an unusual colour combo. Looks like one of our front covers, then. It does, doesn't it? Just so typical. Uh, so I'll, I'll fly through, but you can already see just how... It's remarkably complete. It is, isn't it? What lovely stamp. Somebody went to a great deal of care and attention to look at... Uh, to pull these together. These uh, Gibraltar tall stamps. Have we got the £5? We've got the £5. Look at that. With a certificate With a well. cert as well. That's nice. Ah. Oh boy, it's like the ultimate pick and mix, isn't it? Gilbert and Ellis, Gold Coast. Oh, look at that, two pound. Is that orange and green? Or is it orange, brown and green? I forget. And then we've got some GB, pound values. Look at that, the indigo colour is the greatest colour of the seahorses. But there yeah, we do have tremendous looking pound green there, isn't that lovely? And then we've got more seahorses. Who doesn't love the seahorses? And I should stop before I use up all this space just from the one album. Although I've always had a soft spot for Hong Kong with its combo of East and West within the designs makes it almost unique. There we go, all right, and we've got some of those grand old high values of East Africa. And some lovely combinations of coloured papers and, uh, and inks. There we go, that's up to the pound there. I've always loved that design, I'm going to pull that out to go in our gallery. Of, of beauties. Oh, I'm sorry, pound, you're going back and I'm going to swap you with the two pound with a plate number. That's a fabulous thing. How few of those must exist. Anyway, I'm going to Right, well I hope, you've, I hope you've left room for some of the ones that I've selected in the volume there. I'll be very kind and mark the pages for you. Yes, that, that is good. Otherwise people are just going to fall asleep. We haven't got all day, have we? Now, Look at that, £10, Nyasaland, big old key value, beautiful stamp there. And then, what have we got? The great double heads. Probably my favourite design. Isn't that fantastic? They really threw the paint chart at, uh, at this issue. Uh, some wonderful, actually, my favourite personal favourite combination of those colours is on the 7 and 6 um, but uh, that's lovely I've thrown that in there as well Andy got the 15 bob badge isn't that lovely of St Helena and we've got St Kitts top value the £1 beautiful stamps so let's let's move on. I'm enjoying this. This is yeah. lots of fun. There's only the one page in that book, but it's pretty exciting as you can see. So we've got the uh, 1897 Jubilee issue of Canada with that uh, 
Oh, which which colour do you like the most, oh, Andy? Probably the violet. Yeah, I like the yeah, violet. Let's yeah. pull the violet out. Oh, there you go. Isn't that great? Are there yeah. others? Are there more? There are more. Yeah, I mean this this final volume's got plenty in it, but I've just selected that's one of the look. nicest designs again with animals on. Oh, that's tremendous! Is that an elephant under yeah. a palm tree? There we are. Just room for him there. Isn't that great? That's a pretty exciting page you've created I like there. That. Yeah, that's super. Oh, oh no, there. Oh, oh, I've got yeah, to put the Wilberforce yeah, in as well. Like. Now, there's the top value of the Wilberforce, and uh, there we go. How about that for a selection? I'm going to move it to centre stage now, and you can feast your eyes on some of the great classic early to mid 20th century stamps from the British Empire. I guess that's what... I suppose you and I ought to select which is our favourite on that page yeah, as well. Yeah, what, what's your favourite Andy? I mean I suppose the eye is drawn to the KUT corner. That's not there. But I think we, we love it because it's got that. Yeah, so yeah. I, on, to sign on its own does it still win out? Mm. No, I'm, I'm sticking with the double heads of Rhodesia, double. 1910 to 13, beautiful stuff. So you you written the double heads, yeah. what do I think? Uh, um, you know what, I'm, I'm going to stick with a previous favourite which is the top value from the 33 centenary set of the Falkland Islands. So I'll put that there and that there on my very dry hands and we will Zoom in. And hopefully, there you go. It's definitely the Rhodesia, he's almost smiling, but... I know, he does, uh, George V looks a little grumpy on the, uh, on the left there, doesn't he? But there we go, beautiful stamps. I hope you enjoyed that, folks. Yeah. That's, uh, Comments welcome, what are your <laughs> favourites? <laughs> that was lots of fun, <laughs> wouldn't have to put them all back in now. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Bye-bye.